This is the TGV fast train arriving from Paris. Here we have Jeff and Sandra O'Connor, the first owners to arrive this year in La Rochelle. Whether they come by TGV or whether they arrive at the local airport, we always have their arrival date. Make sure we're there to pick them up. Day one, we've got some sunshine. It's relatively warm. Look at Rob's legs. <laughs> I'm not warm. Right. This is the FP arm, so this is where Seaport Maneem is a big marina. It's very easy to lose our boats in here sometimes. This is the Fontaine Peugeot dock where the vessels come from the factory and are accepted by us and then any small additional work that needs rectifying gets done here and this is where we bring the owners down to first see their new vessels. This is what we're talking about with 8 metre tides, this is the low tide for the morning. And this ramp will be almost horizontal by afternoon. Jeff and Sandra O'Connor stepping aboard their Helia 44 for the first time. <laughs> okay, day two, I'm in the flagship yard. We're just checking on the Sanya 57. It needs to be completed with a mast on and going sailing next week. We're putting a bow thruster in the front of the boat here. This is about a week away from actually being fully commissioned and going to wars, which we'll see later in the video. All of the Fontaine Peugeot models up to 50 feet long are constructed at the yard in Agrafield, which is 30 kilometres inland. Uh, with all the power cats and the sailing vessels bigger than that are constructed at the flagship yard, which is on the coast here in La Rochelle. Prior to the owner's arrival, our job basically is to accept the vessel from Fontaine Peugeot, go through it, make sure all the inventory is on board, that the vessel's in the condition the owner would expect it to be in, and then we get on board and put all the nice things, like the flowers, the champagne, the beers, ready for when the owner arrives and we can move them on board their new yacht. Almost ready for handover. The new Fontaine Peugeot range is set up perfectly for uh, liverboard cruising. Uh, all the extra options we fit while in La Rochelle, uh, additional clears, air conditioning, which also heats the boat to these sort of conditions. Once on board, we take all of the owners out for a sea trial acceptance. Now, this involves us taking the boat out, sailing it, make sure it functions correctly and they're happy with the performance of the boat. The Alan Gerard Sailing School and Bennett Horizon Sailing are based in La Rochelle. They offer sail train packages as well as additional instruction familiarising yourself with sailing a multi-hull or any additional crewing needs you might require for departing La Rochelle. Uchimada Sailing Services are based in Port Menin in La Rochelle. They accept the vessels on behalf of Multi-Hill Solutions and are there to assist you with any further additional fit out you might require. Pierre and his team have been working in La Rochelle for the past 10 years and they offer all skills from electrical work, mechanical to quality shipwriting. We make sure that by the time you leave La Rochelle all your crew are competent, your vessel's ready and you're all excited about the adventure ahead. Having Uchimada work for us in La Rochelle allows us to offer non-contractual items that you may require or other brands of items, i.e. generators, water makers, that the factory might not supply. The shallow bay that is outside La Rochelle is perfect for these guys to commence their sail training. It's fairly sheltered from the Atlantic and offers flat water sailing for them almost every day. Some owners may stay in La Rochelle for up to four weeks, getting used to their vessel, getting all their gear on board, preparing themselves for their first trip across to the north coast of Spain or Portugal. As well as being the home of Fontaine Peugeot, La Rochelle is also a very famous French tourist destination in itself. It's a beautiful historic city and uh, certainly a lovely place to spend your few weeks while getting your vessel ready for departure. Okay, this short video here is me on a day off going to the local island of Ile de Ray on my push bike. As you can see a lot of people cycle over here as it's very flat, it's very famous for its salt flats. It produce Ile de Ray's famous grey salt as well as that it has lots of historic towns. It's a great place to spend some days off.
and this is job number one. Refuel the boat in the middle of all the boats. We want to get this one out. So this next one, this is Graham Doyle's Helia, which we're just trying to get out. Okay team, that tractor driver looked like he's ready to pull. So here we are. Yeah, we're here and about to launch the Sanya. Uh, the Sanya 57 is now out and mastered and ready for launching. The owner has arrived and this is a day where we're going to put the brand new boat to water. We've been working on this Sanya 57 project for a year now, from the owner deciding that he wanted this boat and that this project of picking it up in France was going to be ideal for him and his family. As we get further into the month of commissioning the boats for the owners, we get more and more people arrived and living on board and the Fontaine Arm turns into a bit of an Australian family village uh, with everyone on board their boats. If you're one of the later people to arrive, you certainly arrive to a fairly party atmosphere every evening. There's about five o'clock on we pick someone's boat and sit down for knock-off beers. It's a shopping trip with Dave and Bev's mail. Now I've been shopping for about a solid four hours. What are you thinking about France? Well, I never expected La Rochelle to have such history, such fantastic, interesting boat. People love it. I think it's a very stylish place. <laughs> You love it? I love the old town. The old... Oh, it's been, yeah, it's been great fun, you know. Weather's been a bit, a little bit average, but uh, the people have been friendly and uh, lots of uh, uh, good uh, atmosphere and fantastic marina. Well, my first experience in La Rochelle has been a very pleasant surprise. I, uh, I'm an Australian, I like Australian wine, and I always thought Australian wine was better than French wine. But I've changed my mind. I am really enjoying the French wine, and it costs half as much as the Australian wine. So it's been a big turnaround for me. So food and wine is fantastic in La Rochelle. Uh, superb. 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 All right. Something else? Uh, well, we arrived late and we were so welcome to It's very reassuring to feel like we're at home. on a factory visit to the clients and they're just looking through the production line of the Lapari at the moment. So Campbell and Debbie will be very interested in this model as it's theirs. Okay. It's a Helia deck being finished. Here we are on the production line of the Helia with the Helia owners, it looked like they could steal anything at any point. <laughs> no, it's not. So the factory trip, we take all the owners to Agrafield for the day. I think sometimes the boys get a little bit more out of this than the girls perhaps. So they get to actually see their vessel in production. Um, it helps them obviously to understand how the boat's set up and they meet some of the staff that have put the boat together. 